Welcome to Friday Takeaway. Today we examine two high-speed rail winners in Gamuda and Anmar CB. But first we look at Xiaomi, which has kicked off an IPO to raise up to $10 billion, the biggest IPO globally since Alibaba's $25 billion New York listing in 2014. Now, Xiaomi is due to list in Hong Kong in early July, among the first to take advantage of changes to Hong Kong exchanges listing rules that allows founders to retain control of their companies after listing. That said though, new economy US stocks didn't do so well this week. Spotify, which IPO'd in New York last month, slumped after its first earnings report, which showed it's still losing money even after matching user growth and sales expectations. Tesla, meanwhile, also tanked. They posted their first and highest ever quarterly loss of $785 million, bigger than the $675 million it lost in the previous quarter. Back home at the ranch, we're precisely five days away from the 14th general elections. And no coincidence at all, there's been a proposed increase in minimum wage to 1500 ringgit over the next five years, while fuel prices remain unchanged across the board, the sixth straight week of no change. On to the FBM KLCI. As at 11.30 this morning, the index was down 0.4% to 1,845 points, 1% 1 lower than last Friday's closing. But year to date though, the KLCI is still up 2.7%. In this week's This or That, it's all about the high-speed rail project. The project delivery partners, the PDPs, were officially announced as MRCB, Gamuda, YTL and Tabong Haji. But we'll just focus on MRCB and Gamuda as the more pure play infra players. So let's dig deeper. Controlled by the EPF, MRCB is currently the PDP of the 9 billion ringgit LRT3 project and previously the concession holder of the Eastern Dispersal Link. As the joint PDB manager for the Northern Package, the HSR will give MRCB the biggest net profit boost among the PDB players. Now, assuming a 6% PDB fee, CGS CIMB expects and estimates MRCB could accrue up to 130 million ringgit in PDB profits a year over six years. Now, today, MRCB is down 0.5% to 99 cent, and also one year returns has also been really poorly, down 24%. Like other non-index linked, politically linked stocks, MRCB has been sold down this year, while poor property demand and execution risks remain a concern, like most infrastructure, property and construction stocks. UOB KKN has a whole call and a target price of 1 ringgit and 10 cents on MRCB, saying that they have an underappreciated ability to win major contracts. CGS CIMB, on the other hand, has an ad call and a target price of 1 ringgit and 35 cents for the above mentioned profit boost optimism. Gamuda are probably the most experienced railway contractors, having already been PDP, project delivery partners for MRT1, MRT2, and among the leading contenders for MRT3. They've also built an MRT system in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, and the Smart Tunnel in KL. Now, having already won the HSR PDP job, Gamuda is also expected to bid for and win selected civil works jobs under the HSR that is not part of the PDP contract, including underground works. And there's also the possibility of winning the MRT3 Circle Line tender after elections. Now today, Gamuda shares are down 0.8% to 5 ringgit and 6 cents, but year-to-date gains are still up a healthy 5%. Gamuda's property division is suffering the same slow market demand and low financing approvals as the rest of the players, while its indirect 40% owned associate Splash is still stuck in a legal wrangle with Sharpas to collect outstanding receivables of 4.22 billion ringgit. MIDF is neutral on Gamuda and has a target price of 5 ringgit 25 cents, but CGS CIMB is a little bit more optimistic. They've got an ad call with a 5 ringgit 92 cent target price.